What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, Out of the Basement's Black Series talk show. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And today, we are finally continuing our Black Series retrospective. It's been a couple months since our last yep. video in the yep. retrospective series, but if you are new to this little sub video series that we're doing on the channel, this is us just taking a detailed look back at the history of the black series yep we have done the orange line the blue line we have begun on the red line mm -hmm. which we are actually finishing 2015 today by covering the 2015 exclusives nate this is a pretty big indicator of the exclusive problem mm -hmm. that the black series has i think it used to be a lot worse as far as the means of getting these things but this is a big, like, this is a pretty monumental video because the previous retrospectives, it's like one, two, three exclusives. One's a con exclusive, then one's like a Walgreens or a Target. Mm -hmm. This is like a lot, yeah. a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is definitely where the exclusive problem started and like you said, was at its worst. I think nowadays it's so much better. Mm -hmm. So it's always fun to look back and see, you know, just how dire these mm -hmm. times were. Right. So there are quite a few exclusives to go over. We're kind of just gonna list them off, give our brief thoughts, tell you what they went for back then and what they're worth now, just like we've been doing on this series here. So before we jump into that though, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you are new because we're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. Justin, Yo. start us off with our first 2015 exclusive. Our first one according to actionfigure411.com. This might be considered a previous year because it is kind of an orange slash blue line sort of thing. Mm -hmm. It is the Mexico Walmart four pack this was a four pack that came out and you heard that correctly it is exclusive to mexico mm -hmm. this might be the only instance we have a country exclusive yeah so random it is han solo slave leia boba fett and Greedo. it retailed for 99.99 and it is currently the most expensive black series item in existence with a whopping value of $503.10. Who's paying that much for this set? eBay sold listings. Uh, I, mean, I mean, that someone is. I know, and, <laughs> and recently Zach from Black Series Cantina found it at a local convention and they were asking 500 for it there. Mm -hmm. So crazy because none of these figures are, I, I mean, yeah, Slave Leia is valuable, but Han, Boba, and Greedo are yeah. not, I They're, think it's just the shtick of this is literally Mexican Walmart. Yeah, it's such like, a such a weird <laughs> set, especially at the time because back then, a lot of people don't remember this, but Slave Leia was a peg warmer. Mm -hmm. So this was literally like the peg warmer special set. Yeah. Besides Boba Fett. Right. But nowadays it's reversed, and now Slave Leia would be the one that you'd really want because mm -hmm. the rest aren't very valuable. Mm -hmm. Following that up, we do have an Amazon four pack. This is a trooper build up pack. And so it has a phase one commander, a clone trooper phase two grunt, the battle damaged stormtrooper, and the first order stormtrooper commander. This went for $79.99 and currently is valued at $73. Yeah, this set has always hung around. Yeah, it's always been easy to get, mm -hmm. even through those weird periods where it like would sell out for a couple months but then it would come right back yeah it was really weird not a great set in hindsight yeah at the time it was only worth it for the clones because it is still to this day the only way to get the phase one commander true and up until last year it was the only way to get a regular phase two grunt Mm -hmm. The battle damage on the Stormtrooper is famously horrible. It's so bad. And it's just like a black circle. Yeah, like <laughs> the most low effort battle yeah. damage you could possibly have. The First Order Stormtrooper Commander, it was on that old First Order yep. body, so you got... There's, right. there's the elbow articulation. Mine in particular had a horrible QC issue with mm. the knee. So he couldn't even stand. Oh, great. Yeah, so 
I really disliked this set quite a bit ever since I bought it back in the day. Yeah, is it worth getting now? I've seen it go as low as like 40, 50. I know Matt Bryant recently got it for kind of a good deal. Oh, nice. The figures aren't really good though, I'll be honest. Yeah, especially today, like you said, the only one that we really need out of this set is the Phase 1 Commander. And my money's on, we'll probably get those on the new 2023 Clone Trooper. I hope so. Up next, we have a single release. These are in order according to actionfigure411.com. Okay. So the next one is the Walmart exclusive Shock Trooper Stormtrooper from Battlefront. This was before Gaming Greats, mm -hmm. and it just had that Battlefront logo on the box. Walmart exclusive, of course, retailed for $19.99. We're still in that age of Black Series. And it is worth $21.48 today, so kind of the same price. Yeah. It's a nice looking figure. I do really like the deco mm -hmm. design on it. I like that it's from Battlefront because I was much more into gaming at the time right. that the first Battlefront came out. So I was always the shock trooper defending the Emperor. So kind of meant something to me in that way. And then I love the story of us finding it at Walmart. Yeah. Yep. You know, because we used to work such late shifts at the movie theater we used to work at. So, great story. Finding it, too. I like it still. Yeah. It's still one of the few classic Stormtroopers I have on display. Mm -hmm. This one, while it was re-released a couple times, and that's why the value is pretty low at this point in the time, at this point in time, I would still probably like to see it on the 2020 body, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I would. I would definitely love that. This figure was impossible yeah. to get because this is f before the age of like streamlined pre-ordering. Mm -hmm. Mainline, sure, you could do that all day. But back in the day, like especially Walmart exclusives, and they still have issues right. to this day. But back in the day, it was just like impossible to get this figure. It's a miracle we got it. Yeah, we literally found it at two in the morning. I found it first, mm -hmm. and then I kind of there at the time the walmart in that city was so disheveled and so disorganized that they the black series figures were just in a pile <laughs> yeah. on the shelf yeah so i got off a little bit before you mm -hmm. found it bought the one and then at the time i just kind of like buried it underneath the other figures and i was like hey it's there go get it yeah and i did when i got off so i like this figure it has a nice little story behind it mm -hmm. and like you said i still have it in the display We'll follow that up with a figure that you couldn't escape oh, from in 2015. Oh, snap. So this is a Walgreens exclusive. Tom Walgreens, rise up. Oh, snap. We've got Darth Vader, Emperor's Wrath. This went for $19.99 and somehow is still worth $18.11. These things were everywhere. They were rotting the shelves the at Walgreens. layers of dust that were on the emperor's wrath vaders because yeah. i remember specifically going out of our way to make sure we secured it like, oh yeah. we thought it was going to be like the most desirable thing in the world we were like dude we need to be there yeah. we need to get ours and do you remember the story behind it where technically this was our first vader that was just a solid helmet right so people were like painting it black yeah i remember classic toy galaxy video of mm -hmm. dan painting the helmet black because it was a good helmet sculpt mm -hmm. especially at the time and i think even back then you know getting a vader was super hard to do yeah so i know for me personally this was my first darth vader in the black series true yeah because i did not have the removable helmet return of the jedi version mm -hmm. so i was just excited to have a darth vader now at the time i still didn't even really care for it because it's obviously inaccurate. You know, you watch Return of the Jedi. Right. And you get it's smart. more blue. It's 100% more blue. Mm -hmm. I get the idea they're going for, but I just don't understand why they went with the purple helmet. It right. just doesn't make any sense. It's kind of cool how it has the skull on the inside and yeah. like some like veins or like electricity effects. Right. It's, it's kind of cool, but this is one that is not in my display. Ooh. You know what's crazy <laughs> is I actually recently put this back oh, in my snap. display because Found a spot for it. Well, I got the second emperor, so I you know put the lightning hands on him, and I was like, we gotta have him shocking something. Yeah, and that's then a good I, idea. And then I was like, 
oh yeah, they totally made a Vader. Yeah. I had to dig through my storage <laughs> yeah. bin. And I was like, oh, hey buddy. Dust him off a little bit. Now nice. he's back on the shelf. Nice. Up next, we have an Entertainment Earth exclusive. Yes, that's right. They used to do Entertainment Earth exclusive multi-packs. There's multiple in the Black Series. But today we're talking about a four pack of the Sand Trooper Sergeant, which is the White Pauldron, the Crimson Stormtrooper, Lieutenant Oxizo, mm. and R2Q5. The set went for $99.99 and is worth about $65 today. This is a banger of a set. Yeah, you know, I was gonna say, I still back this set. Right. I think it's four solid figures. Mm -hmm. I was more than happy to pay full price for it back in the day. Mm -hmm. If I got it for $65 today, that's I'd, a steal. I'd be ecstatic. Yeah, the Sand Trooper, you already know how we feel. Masterpiece figure, masterful weathering, three blasters, backpack. It's a different helmet sculpt than the Stormtrooper sculpt. Amazing figure. Mm -hmm. The Crimson Stormtrooper, it's just cool. It's a Stormtrooper, but red. It's, it's super striking, and again, it's one of those classic stormtroopers mm -hmm. still on my display. Same. You have the astromech droid, and there's a little fun details about him, how it's like the Emperor's astromech droid, so that's fun. Mm -hmm. And Lieutenant Oxizo is character-specific, so his marking is different. Yeah, he's got like a little bit of silver on the helmet. Right. It's not the TIE pilot who goes, look out, and then crashes into Vader. It's some other... A New Hope TIE hmm. Pilot. Someone in the comments let us know which TIE Pilot is Oxizo, because for the longest time, I thought it was the guy who went, look out. Yeah, I, that's literally what I was going to say in this video. Oh. That's what I thought it was. So Yeah, but apparently that's wrong. You're dropping knowledge on me. Live on Figure We just out. need some additional clarification. Yeah. Following that, we'll start with a really awful gimmick that they did for a couple years in a row, and we'll cover these figures as we move along. But what they did here was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive First Order Stormtrooper. It was $19.99, and it is currently worth $26.17. All they did, put it in a different box, and this was technically like the first opportunity to get it. Yeah, it's just a nothing burger. It's so dumb. Unless you're like a super duper like in box type of collector, it would be kind of cool packaging. But other than that, it's the same release. It's the same sculpt. It's a terrible, terrible, horrible, probably the worst trooper they've ever released in the line. We talked about him in previous videos because this is a repack, of course. Mm -hmm. Meh. Just a total meh on that one. <laughs> Let's talk about Kmart, Nate. We're getting a little oh. nostalgic. Oh, the good old days of Kmart. The good old days of Kmart. There's one in the town that you live in currently. Well, not anymore. It's yeah. long gone, but it used to have the snack bar. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. That was so much fun. Like, years after the snack bar closed, they still just kept that area open. And we would just, like, go behind the counter. It's, and it's like... just prime time teenagers messing around. Yeah. It's like, what did you think was going to happen? But Hasbro used to collaborate with Kmart quite a bit at the beginning. <laughs> That's true. Because we have a deluxe sort of exclusive star killer set that came out and it was $24.99 today it's worth $12.99 so the value went way down and it is Kylo Ren mm -hmm. from the pre-existing black series that we talked about yeah except the his boots and the lower part of the cape and the soft goods is snowy yeah and he comes with a little snow base and he has an alternate hand. He's got the force grip hand. That is true. Good, Great point. Good catch. Good catch. I wasn't going to say that, which I do for the longest time. That was my display, mm -hmm. Kylo, with the with the hand, the force gesture. It's cool. Yeah. I'll be honest. I actually, I like this set. I, I liked the gimmick at the time. I like, you know, spoilers for the future. When they made Rey and she had the base and they clicked together. So yeah, could... the base is connected and I'm just like... Man, that's awesome. I love world building. I love any instance of world building. Even when we get to Jyn Erso Kmart, where it's just she comes with a pile of dirt. Hey, we're we're trying to track down that figure so we can put the muddy mando on him. So, yeah. you know, don't, don't hate on him just yet. But I thought it was a cool release. Some of the snow effects I put with, like, my Hoth display. So. Same. 
I mean, I'm still getting use out of it. Yep, and I actually use this Kylo Ren body for my Darth Nihilus. This right. is the one That's that right. I swapped the head from Nihilus onto because I love that force grip hand. Mm -hmm. It makes a world of difference, just a little, little force grip hand. Mm -hmm. Now, why does Nihilus have snow on his boots? I don't know. Who cares? Who cares? Now, Justin, this next one is a very special figure for you. <laughs> this is the Toys R Us exclusive Snow Trooper Officer, mm -hmm. originally retailing for $19.99. Nice. And still to this day, worth $19.81. This is my first ever Black Series figure. November 3rd of 2015, mm -hmm. I picked up my first Black Series figure ever because, big spoilers, character development time. Mm -hmm. I actually made the attempt to start with three and three quarter inch Star Wars figures, like the Black Series three and three quarter inch. Yeah. I had a few of those. I still have them. Mm -hmm. But you convinced me eventually. You wore me down. Yep. And I finally pounced a six inch Black Series figure. I remember we went to Toys R Us and I was like, ah, I don't know if I want that. We went to some other stores. I was like, let's go back. Yep. Let yep. me... Let me pick up my first Black Series figure. So, of course, it's very special to me. I'll never sell it, no matter what I think of the sequel trilogy. It's just a snow trooper with a pauldron. Mm -hmm. And I think it is cool. I think it's a better release than the snow trooper without it. Yeah. Just because more visual look to it. Right. Definitely has, you know, a little bit of color to it. So it kind of pops a little bit more on the shelf. And the first order snow trooper figure is not horrible. Right. They can at least do this yeah i'm not saying like aim down the sights but they can at least like yeah like that it's not like the first order trooper where it's yeah this or nothing right and really random side note i love when the toys r us exclusive had the super metallic <sighs> sticker that I said loved toys it. r us exclusive on it mm -hmm. and this was one of those figures it's actually one of the boxes that i kept after the great black series packaging purge nice respect and finally we're jumping to target if you've been paying attention they've been hitting like every major retailer yeah so we had to get a target exclusive this is a poe dameron and riot control stormtrooper two pack that of course retailed for 39.99 however today it is worth 15.29 devalued quite a bit it is the more desirable version of Poe at the time, though, because mm -hmm. it's like the cool jacket yeah. outfit with the blaster instead of his horrendous X-Wing mm -hmm. look. And at the time, Nate, I thought the riot control shield was cool. Well, yeah, and everyone wanted the riot control stormtrooper because of, you know, Force Awakens. Traitor! Or... Traitor! Yeah. Like, oh, it's the tra it's traitor! You yeah. know? Yeah. Um, so I get it. I never picked this setup because I always thought Poe looked like crap. And I knew that the First Order Stormtrooper, even if he had the cool little baton and the shield, I'm like, you can't pose him. Mm -hmm. So I don't need this set. So I actually never picked this one up. Yeah, I bought this set and then I immediately broke the Stormtrooper while <laughs> posing the arm that had the riot shield. Nice. Great. Yeah, really great quality back in 2015 really great articulation on all the figures but yeah i think just in general this entire list shows you that compared to today the exclusive problem night and day difference like this was a nightmare right and amazon walmart walgreens <laughs> entertainment earth san diego comic-con kmart toys r us target eight <laughs> different places to get figures and that's not to say we don't have a high amount of exclusives today. Of course. Like, almost half the line of course. is exclusive these days. But at least we have Fan Channel. We have Pulse. It's easier to get Target exclusives, especially in-store. And I'll say it, unless you were there, I don't really think you have a lot that you could say. But the Walmart pre-order experience was even worse back then. I know it's still a little rough now, mm -hmm. but it was 10 times worse back then. And I mean, we don't have Walgreens exclusives anymore. Walgreens is canceled. Yep. We do not get Walgreens exclusives anymore. So I think objectively, 
the exclusive problem was a lot worse because they were just harder to get. We might have a higher quantity today, yeah. but these were harder to get. Right. And places like Kmart and Toys R Us just straight up didn't have pre-orders. Right. So you just had to get in your car, drive yeah. over there every day, and hope that they just managed to put this stuff out on the shelf. And guess what? Not everyone lives near a Toys R Us. <laughs> Not everyone even right. lived near a Walgreens. I mean, it's a pharmacy, and there is no way to order it online. And it's just, it was just a nightmare. Yeah. Exclusives used to be a nightmare. Some of these figures are good and still hold up today. True. Most of them don't, but please be sure to comment in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about each of these? Or maybe tell us what's your favorite out of this list. Whatever you're thinking, leave a comment in the comments down below. And with that being said, that's all we have for you on this week's episode of Figure It Out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. Like I said earlier, we're always talking about Star Wars, the Black Series here on the channel. It's always fun to look back in time and see what was going on, especially at this point in time, because mm -hmm. you and I were both collecting. We were there, boots on the ground, yes. trying to get these figures. So it's fun to look back and think about all the memories that we made. Mm -hmm. Even though these figures weren't the best, this was like the start of us really getting into collecting yep. hardcore. So having those stories to share and tell, you know, I like it. It's I a do lot like of fun. It. Even though we're in the dark ages, the retrospectives have definitely been a lot of fun. So if you really enjoy our content, definitely consider checking out our channel membership. We have a couple different tiers down in the description below. We'd appreciate it if you could support us in that direct manner. If not though, no worries. Simply watching, liking, and subscribing is more than enough for us. But we do have to give a massive shout out to all of our current channel members. Your continued support is truly appreciated. And thank you to everyone else out there for watching. I'm Nate. I've been joined with Justin. See you guys later. And we will see you all next time on Out of the Basement.